Now we're going to see the troubleshooting for the pressure powered pump package unit. This entire assembly is known as the internal assembly or the set of internals. It consists of the inlet valve, the exhaust valve, the actuating disc, the push rod, the actuating mechanism, dumbbell type springs, a float arm and the float. Now to check whether the inlet valve is leaking or the exhaust valve is leaking, one has to follow these steps. Ensure that the float is at the bottommost position. At this position, the inlet valve is closed and the exhaust valve is open. At this point, one has to pour water from the half inch connection and check whether the water is dripping down. To check the exhaust valve, lift the float in the topmost position. At this point, the inlet valve opens and the exhaust valve closes. To check the exhaust valve leakage, one has to pour the water in the exhaust valve connection and check for any kind of dripping. If any kind of dripping is observed, either from the inlet valve or the exhaust valve, clean the same. Even after cleaning the inlet and exhaust valve with cotton. If the leakage does not stop, one has to replace the inlet and exhaust valve. To do the same, first remove the float from the float arm. Mount the cover plate assembly onto a vise and then remove the bolts. Actuating disc is engaged with the exhaust valve head. Do not disturb the actuator disc setting. Dismantle the exhaust and inlet valve. Check for any kind of scratches on the inlet valve seat or the ball. If so, replace the inlet valve. Also check for any kind of foreign particle deposition on the exhaust valve seat as well as the head. If found damaged, replace the same. Reassemble the exhaust and inlet valves. While reassembling the actuator mechanism, ensure that the actuating disc is engaged properly in the exhaust valve slot. Equally tighten both the bolts. Use the right tools. As the inlet and exhaust are replaced, check for the actuation. Also check that when the float is in the downmost position, there is a gap between the disc and the stem. This is how one troubleshoots the pressure-powered pump package unit.